Has your dog ever faced abnormal molar development? You probably heard about this painful oral health condition if you have a dog, especially a small breed. In today's video, we will discuss abnormal molar development in dogs and its symptoms, causes, and treatments. Before starting, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell icons. Abnormal molar development in dogs is a dental health disease mostly seen in small dogs' mouths. It is a kind of abnormality in the formation of the development of teeth in the lower molars. It arises in the third molar located from the middle of the jawbone. Usually, a dog has 10 molars inside its mouth. But sometimes, these molars do not develop properly in their position. Smaller breed dogs have smaller space in their mouths. That's why we see more abnormally developed molars among them. It's a very painful and awkward situation for every dog. Certain breeds of dogs are more likely to have this problem. Most of the time, this abnormal molar development is observed in certain breeds of dogs. Especially dogs with a small mouth structure and less mouth space are more likely in this list. Boston Terriers American Bulldog Japanese Chin Boxer English Toy Spaniel French Bulldog Pug Peckins Number 1. Symptoms there are several symptoms of abnormal molar development. This disorder defects your dog's mandibular collars most of the time. Sometimes it shows in the receding gums or bleeding gums. Even near the base of your dog's mouth can cause significant damage to the alveolar bones and leakage of the inner lining. Mostly certain symptoms are seen while teething. Mouth pain, receding gums, molars coming in abnormally bleeding gums, inflamed or reddened gums, Molars that are curved exposure of the root. Small molars that are cone-shaped. Decreased appetite. Bone loss within the jawline. Number 2. Causes. Abnormal molar development is caused by a lack of space inside the mouth when the dog's teeth erupt. Because the molar did not get a specific place, it grows abnormally only in a corner or an odd place, such as behind the gums. It can hinder crown and root development. Penetration enamel folds and calculus, sometimes occurring in the cervix, with a certain degree of jingable resection. This problem can also occur from trauma. Here are some common causes of abnormal molar development. Breed type. Lack of space in the mouth ectodermal dysplasia. Trauma to the facial area. Number 3. How to diagnose abnormal molar development. At first, you need to take special care of your dog so that any symptoms you can find out easily. Typically, abnormalities in the development of such abnormal molars in dogs arise from the depth of the enamel in the dental papilla. During this time, your dog may feel extreme pain in the jaw, because the cells involved in developing teeth usually start from the crown before calcification occurs in the dental tissue, and it often extends to the root. As a result, development of abnormal molars once you recognize these signs, you need to take your dog to a veterinarian. The veterinarian will thoroughly examine the dog's mouth and gums to discover the problem. He could use a probe-like object to perform this test. However, most vets perform dental radiography to diagnose the disease accurately. Dental radiography is a very effective method for diagnosing possible diseases. It can detect whether the upper or lower molars are developing as they should. This test also makes it easier to determine the right treatment. Dental radiography helps to gather more information about specific causes. Another important aspect is that it can compare one side of the face to the other. After a thorough diagnosis, the veterinarian will tell you the main cause of abnormal molar growth in your dog. Number 4. Treatment Since there are different causes for abnormal molar development, your dog's type of treatment will vary according to the specific causes. Once the veterinarian has finished examining your dog properly, you can go for the basic treatment of your dog. Number 5. Pain Reliever You can prescribe some medicine to relieve the pain in the initial stage. However, this is not a permanent cure. It's just a way to cure a dog without too much pain. Number 6. Teeth Extraction Teeth extraction is required depending on the condition of the molar or other teeth. When the veterinarian finds that there is not enough space inside the dog's mouth to grow teeth, or that molasses is too crowded and comes in irregularly, he advises tooth extraction.
because then it becomes so painful that it needs to be removed. Picking up a dog's teat is more challenging than a human's. Typically, this is done non-surgically. Canine teeth have a complex root structure and are deep in the bone. Number 7. Antibiotics Depending on the dog's gums condition, the veterinarian may recommend feeding an anti-inflammatory or antibiotic. If your dog's teeth become more infected, the vet will extract them and antibiotics will prevent the area from becoming infected again. If you enjoyed our video, please let us know your thoughts in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.